What is going on guys? We are officially one day post Battlefield's big Gamescom trailer launch. I don't know about you guys, but I've jumped into that trailer, watched it a couple dozen times already, definitely enjoying it so far, and it's been pretty pleasant to see the rest of the community pretty much receive it the exact same way. At least from YouTube standards, there's not as much of a controversial dislike to like ratio, uh, but it seems from at least from that perspective that this is going down a little bit better for the community than their first original trailer. But today we got an article from DICE giving us more details on the maps we were seeing in this trailer. Something that is probably the biggest thing for me when it comes to Battlefield games next to the big multiplayer battles is the maps themselves. So this is something I was really looking forward to hearing about sooner than later. And it is awesome to see we have a pretty detailed article for us. The first and most obvious one on the list was the city of Rotterdam. This was of course heavily featured in that big reveal trailer. They stated in their article what briefly appears as a blissful panorama is quickly marred by the haze and smoke in the distance emanating from the embattled streets of Rotterdam. This shot introduces one of the four Battlefield 5 maps debuting in this trailer. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I definitely saw more than just four maps in that reveal trailer, but we'll talk more about that in a little bit. Now, one map you probably didn't recognize on that trailer that was there was another urban map, but this map is called Devastation, and it's actually the devastated city of Rotterdam itself, so it kind of slid in there. Uh, some people kind of picked up on it. I heard some developers talking about it on Twitter, and I couldn't really find it. I wasn't really sure where it was, but it was actually the devastated version of Rotterdam itself. The article said soldiers awake to a destroyed Rotterdam city. The breeze, crumbling buildings, and surrounding firestorms have transformed the battlefield. New avenues of approach, obstacles, and defensive positions are some of what shape the next Battlefield 5 map seen here called Devastation. So this is what tells me that we should be playing in the same map as they're stating there are new avenues of approach, which obviously wouldn't be there previously uh, when Rotterdam is not destroyed so I'm hoping that it is heavily transformed so it does feel essentially like a new map I do think this will give a deeper replay value for these maps it is interesting to note that in our Battle of Narvik Arctic Forge map that did have a night and day mode so I wonder if this is the quote unquote night and day mode for Rotterdam and if this will continue for the rest of the map so that's definitely interesting to find out definitely looking forward to playing this map on both sides of it whether it be destroyed or not destroyed the article would continue to say the map is inspired by the second half of the Rotterdam Blitz by the German forces. While the Rotterdam map shows the city at the start of the attack, devastation recreates the terrible aftermath of the intensive bombardments. The ruined streets are built with dynamic destruction. No matter what destroys a building, different parts of it will crack, move, and crumble over time, making destruction more realistic than ever. The Rotterdam and Devastation maps will be featured in an early Grand Operations, the Battle of Holland. So this is more confirmation that it is like the Battle of Narvik, but in its own form. So again, going to be hyped to play this one. This is the IMUS 2.0 that even has more of a depth to it with this new uh, Devastation map coming to it. So definitely hyped to get more into this map. The next map on the list is called Twisted Steel, a familiar map to us as we've already seen it in the first big reveal trailer. This is the map with the massive bridge and the marshy land that you're playing on. It is interesting to note that they did say that that bridge is the biggest structure ever modeled in a Battlefield game. They also went on to say that the giant structure is more than a set piece because of its vital location for squads to either prepare a defense with hastily constructed fortification or mount a coordinated assault on a conquest point. So that's leading me to believe that we should be able to play on that bridge, which I would hope they would do that. That would be kind of just killing us to see this massive bridge on the side. I don't know about you guys, but when I play Iamiums and I see that massive cathedral in the background, it just makes me want to get in it. So, uh, you know, I'm glad to see that some of the big features on the map should at least be playable for us so uh, it is pretty cool to see that you'll be able to build fortifications on it 
I'm kind of curious where that conquest point exactly is. We have a little bit of snippets of that flag in the trailer. I'm not sure if that's exactly what they're talking about or not. It will be interesting to find out. What also will be interesting to know is if that bridge is destructible. We did see in the first trailer that that bridge is completely devastated. So it makes me wonder if that bridge will have a destructibility to it. Will it be a type of evolution that we have seen maybe more in Battlefield 4? Or will it be something kind of like how the Battle of Rotterdam is and how there's two maps to it? So maybe one map you have the bridge completely fine and then the next map that bridge is completely destroyed. So we'll have to see how that evolves. But it makes me again curious as we're seeing that theme being brought to us already again from the first snow map and then to the new Rotterdam map and then will that carry on will we see these two different type of maps featured in one map the final map on the list featured in that trailer was the map Hamada it will be one of the two North Africa maps available at launch says the article the article will go on to say the map crawling with tank warfare in the trailer is inspired by a strategic point between Libya and Egypt and the scene of pivotal battles between Axis and Allies during 1941 in 1942 so we're gonna get some desert gameplay still makes me very curious what these two map theme in one map is going to be like will that be the same for this Hamada map will that second map be a different version of the same map like how Rotterdam is or will it be a completely different map in itself I do hope if they do go down that route and they try to make you know two different maps out of the same map that it is heavily different and it is uh, something that does feel like a different map so we don't kind of feel like we're just playing something that's been reskinned and just kind of a different version of the same thing so hopefully that turns out to be the case i'm imagining that dice will do a good job here i've always enjoyed their maps that they've brought out so i do think it's going to be a solid work on their part but like i had said earlier in the video there were of course more maps featured in that trailer but it seemed like they didn't want to highlight it too much as you could see from the trailer there were only very brief snippets of it we saw a little bit more of some snowy mountain range map gameplay in the article it seemed like they focused on those clips around the vehicle gameplay rather than the maps themselves so i'm certain that we should be seeing more of snow mountain range type of gameplay we saw some of that in the concept art so i would expect to see that to come out alongside we saw a little glimpse of a soldier in a field of like these yellowish flowers that wasn't talked about at all but i'll be looking forward to playing that map as if it is anything like that little snippet from that soldier walking in that field it looks very promising because i've been looking for a map that has a very thick field of like flowers or a wheat field like river psalm but thick enough where you could you know lay down on your belly and crawl through it and enemy players couldn't see you at all so that would be pretty cool if they had a map like that in my opinion hopefully that map turns out to be the case but those were the things that i had seen in that trailer when it comes to map wise i'm expecting to see a lot more maps come out first at launch we already hear them talking a little bit more about the hamad map and there being other maps to it we'll have to wait and see exactly how those maps are if they turn out to be just a kind of day and night version uh like the arctic forge map was i'm expecting to have it be more depth than that but we'll have to wait and see but feel free to let me know what you guys think about these maps in the comments below i'm getting more and more hyped every day and it's getting worse and worse now that will be coming up with gamescom next week uh, but feel free to let me know your guys' thoughts down below. That's it for you guys today. I am Livin', and I'll catch you guys again later.